the president's exercise of his veto power on the construction of the Bulacan International Airport assures a leaner and cleaner private and government partnership venture sans financial risks to government and interdepartmental conflict. The palace's clarification on the first presidential veto as an interim measure plus a likely U.S. state visit in the works and the reasons for the remaining cabinet vacancies all summed up once more in this Menelis Moras report. In her first press briefing in Malacanang, Press Secretary Trixie Cruz Angeles firmly stated that President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. fully supports the creation of the Bulacan Airport City Special Economic Zone and Freeport, and his decision to veto House Bill No. 7575 was just meant to cure the defects found in the measure. In the veto letter of President Marcos to Congress, he said that the transmitted bill contained provisions that pose substantial fiscal risk and some of its part may also have infringement or conflict with other agencies' mandates. According to Secretary Angeles, the construction of the Bulacan International Airport and Aero City will not be affected by the veto that was only meant to correct and include the missing parts of the process. He still fully supports uh, the Aero City. Uh, in fact, uh, the building of the airport, the, uh, the free port, and the special economic zone. But the law needs to be sharpened to admit of the following, to provide audit, uh, the necessary audit provisions for COA, the procedures for uh, expropriating lands that had been awarded to agrarian reform beneficiaries, to provide for a master plan with meets and bounds of the full scope of the economic zone. It uh, needs to address why there is a rulemaking power given to the economic zone, to this particular economic zone, for environmental issues. As of now, Malacanang said, with the start of new administration's fulfillment of duties and obligations, President Marcos has been so upbeat and productive, and it is expected to continue during his leadership. Meanwhile, on government agencies with no secretary yet, like the Department of Health, Secretary Angeles said, Wala po sa binibigay sa amin na sinasabi nilang deadline. Ang sinasabi is masu masuri talaga ang pag-evaluate nila dito sa, sa mga kandidato para sa mga posisyon. I understand that is, this is now going through the final evaluation stage. So, I don't think it will take too long. I understand that this is so important, they must look very closely and carefully at the candidates. During the past few days, President Marcos has also been meeting with different foreign dignitaries. Philippine Ambassador to the United States, Jose Manuel Romualdez, said U.S. President Joe Biden has already extended an invitation to President Marcos to visit Washington, D.C. Although the chief executive has yet to reply formally, he showed interest in going to the U.S. when the schedule permits. For its part, Malacanang said, Let's wait for Malacanang to formally acknowledge it, and then they will probably make the announcement with regards to whether or not it's going to happen. But let's wait. Melalas Moras for the nation.